Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I have box 12 of the Paper Craft Society and I am so excited. I have been waiting for the lovely Claire Rowlands who is the designer and the, the just the fantastic illustrator behind Daisy May Designs and she now has a Paper Craft Society kit and it is gorgeous. I've already had a look. I just, I couldn't contain myself. It actually arrived whilst my mum and my sister were visiting and my mum was all over it as well. This has gone out to subscribers so you would have had to have subscribed for this one however I'll share the links below because a few days maybe even a week after you then sometimes see open stock appear on the website so there may still be an opportunity for people to get their hands on this it's just absolutely beautiful I wasn't disappointed at all I've been a massive fan of Claire's for a long time and I just adore her stamps and you see me use them a lot in my past tutorials so here's the front of the box love this red and white like checkered print and then on the front here you've got this lovely little red robin and the letterbox you've got the poncettia and then you've got the robin on the twig there and you've got that lovely lantern hanging with the candle inside you've got buttons little holly leaves and then that lovely gold foiled writing on the front there you can just see it so open it up and then inside here all of the patterns as well, I always say it, but there's always new people watching. This is always um, an indication of what the papers are going to be. So you've got this lovely pattern here and then inside you've got this holly with this like um, snow or polka dot background. So it says here, craft for the love of colour, design and creativity, Claire. So you have your pocket, so we'll go through that first or your envelope and then we'll go and look at the stuff inside the tissue paper in a moment. So. Here's your envelope so as always if you do make anything if you share it on social media just put hashtag papercraft society so that the guys um, can see what you've been making so in here we have our die set so let me just get this so you can see it what i'm actually going to do because the dies will make more sense if i do the stamps first so there's your dies okay if i just come up a little bit so move that there there we go so the stamps i was so literally like i said not disappointed at all they are gorgeous so and I've got two really fun card designs that I want to share so we have here look how big this lovely letterbox is it's gorgeous I just adore it <laughs> and you've got that lovely bird bath and you've got your robin you've got another robin there but obviously you can color them so you could use these this these birds and then this would look lovely on a summer card as well you know with the birds just playing in the water you could change them and color them so they're like a blue tit or any kind of any bird really depending on how you color it so it's you know i like stamps that you can use you know for other occasions and other times throughout the year you've got your twig there or your tree branch and then you've got your holly traditional clair bow there with the stitching love the poncettia and you, if you've had any of Claire's past collections they are snippets of those so this twig is very similar to the one that she done in a Christmas collection last year along with the poncettia there's a beautiful stamp set which is probably still available on her um, page on craft stash the bow there's lots of you know larger stamped bows similar to that you know throughout the collection but I've not got any stamp like this I can't wait to use it I love the button stamps as well they're really cute got another holly there and then your sentiments you've got special delivery 25th of December then you've got Christmas wishes and happy Christmas and then there's that lantern there as well so the dies you can see here I'll just sit it down so there's your lantern so there's the lantern die this will cut your button so I imagine it's going to cut this one here you've got your holly die for there you've got your twig die the bow die the other holly die which is here both birds which is great obviously the big letterbox the poncettia you've even got the pine cone i think that's it and then the bird bath i imagine that one's the one that you'll just cut yourself but it's a pretty standard um easy shape to cut so really really happy with it i cannot wait to um start making some lovely projects so then your papers so, okay so you've got these two here with the robins and the snowflakes so so cute love them then you've got this one here and that's the paper on the inside of the pocket so you get again two of those and you've got these two here i use those instantly i almost want there to be like just a whole pack of this because it's just such a nice pattern to use at christmas time really really nice this one here this is quite nice it's like a seam kind of yeah i guess it's like it's already done for you so it's like a torn piece of paper you got your buttons kind of like a polka dot and then some stitching so that's a nice one haven't got anything like that and then this is really nice so you've got all these pop-out sentiments 
which have got that stitching around them. Happy Christmas, Christmas cheer, thinking of you, merry and bright. And then you've got two that are warm winter wishes, two that are handmade with love, happy Christmas, with love, merry and bright, peace, love and joy, and season's greetings. So those are all doubles, and there, there's some extras, um, which, and you know, I guess the thinking of you, you know, you can use all year round, and then all the rest, yeah, they are geared towards Christmas. Oh no, the with love as well, you can keep that one. Isn't that nice? So for anybody that just likes to have their sentiments done for them, you do have that option there. So that's everything in your envelope, and then the tissue. So lovely Christmas green, and then you get there's so much in here. So let's just move that to one side. Okay, so we have some twine and we have, they put ribbon here, but this is more of a burlap. And this is, uh, Claire uses this in so many of her card making and 3D projects. She makes gorgeous bows. Again, if you've never seen any of Claire's work, head over to Craft Stash, head over to her Facebook page and, um, and have a look. She does absolutely beautiful cards and her colouring, I mean, she's an illustrator, so she's, she's just amazing anyway, but her colouring is, it blows my mind sometimes. So nice to have that there. And you've got a nice amount, I mean, it's thick anyway, but there's a lot on there. So I'm gonna yeah, make some nice bows with that. Then we've got some fake snow. You could probably colour that as well if you've got any of your ink refills. You know, you can take a little bit out, pop it on like an acrylic block and drop a few droplets of the colour that you want and then you'd be able to colour that yourself. You've got wooden buttons. Now we did get wooden buttons in Christina's one. So when I heard wooden buttons, I thought, oh, they're the same, but they're not. Look, they're little wooden hearts. They are just adorable. Those two are stuck together. I need to get those apart, but look at them. And you could put some thread through there and then tie little bows on them. Really, really cute. And there's loads again as well. So really nice to have those little embellishments to finish off your makes. Then we've got here watercolour pencils. I love pencils. I love colouring with pencils. So it'd be interesting to see what these ones are like. Artist quality pencils conforms to ASTM. And then it's a code there as well. So you get, let's have a little look inside here. Because you'll be able to mix your colours. So you've got your... You've got your standard primary colours and you'll be able to then mix, you know, those when you add your water. So here we have yellow, blue, black, green, red and brown. And then they have Paper Craft Society on the bottom there as well. So, yeah, I will be looking forward to trying them, seeing what they're like. Then you've got your information card. So this one says, in crafting there are no mistakes, just unique creations. And when I saw this, it made me think of Bob Ross because it starts off, in crafting there are no mistakes. And then Bob Ross would say, there are just happy little accidents. Um, so yeah, I like that. And then on the back here, it's got your color pencil guide. So if anybody's new to using them, you've got some useful information here. What ink should I use with the watercolour pencils? That's always a, you know, a question that I see asked a lot over on you know, the social media platforms. Then you've got, can you use regular coloured pencils as watercolour um, pencils? Uh, can I use watercolour pencils dry? Can I just dip the pencil into water if I don't have a brush? Is there a wrong way to use watercolour pencils? And how do I blend my pencils? And then there's a little explanation under each one. So that's really useful. We've got our booklet, which I will show you a little bit about in a minute. And then you have your coordinating cardstock. Okay, so we have lovely Christmas red there. So we've got two of these, white core, which for Christmas times are really nice because I always say anyway, the white core is nice for you to be able to do techniques with because when you distress the edges, the white will come through. So you could, you know, make it so it looks like snow when you distress it. Um, and you can, when you emboss on this and you can lightly sand the top, again, you get really nice effects. So that'd be nice to do. So you've got two of that in the red. Then you've got three really thick, was it four? No, you've got four thick, pieces of beautiful watercolour card. So this would be for, you obviously, um, stamping. Now, it is a cold press, so you have a grainy side and then you have a smooth side. So if you want to stamp, I would suggest using the back side where it's smoother, so you'll get a nice impression. But if you want to do any kind of backgrounds and just create some washes, then you want to use the grainy side because then that'll give you that watercolour um, look that you always get. So um, yeah, that's nice. They're really nice, thick quality ones. And then you've got this green here. It's a bit more of a, a minty green. It's very much a clear green. Um, beautiful, really like it. So you can see those colors there together. And then you've got two sheets of white. And then you've got craft card. Again, very much a clear um, 
staple, I think. So those are your cardstocks. Okay, and then let's have a little look in the booklet. So there's a lovely Claire, and I will not show everything. I don't like to just go through every single thing in here, but I will show you just some of the, you know, card ideas. Here we go. So Claire's done a rocker card, and you can see just how lovely that letterbox stamp is. And you can see she's used the artificial snow all along the top. She's used that lovely burlap trim. Then there's that, I guess it's the checkered or the, the plaid. It's not quite plaid, but you know what I mean, um, paper there. And then that's probably just her own red cardstock. And then what she's done here, that's those pop-out sentiments, but she's just added colour to it. So you can, you know, distress them. And then she's used some of the twine, that lovely heart, and then she's just added a few little baubles there. She's used the craft card, the poncettia flower, and these little kind of sprigs there, the stamps as well. And then that, I didn't realise actually, so that special delivery, 25th of December, of course it makes sense, will go in front of the letterbox there. So that's just an idea, absolutely gorgeous. Look at this, isn't that cool? So it tells you how to make that gift box, and there's the robin with some of the sprigs, and then you can put some snow, and then again that sentiment. Cute little bag. Really, really sweet, I love that. Look at that, easel card, isn't that pretty? So that's just some, there's loads more in there, lots and lots of inspiration, and um, yeah, I can't wait to get stuck in. That's the unboxing for Paper Craft Society Kit 12. I can't believe it's a year's worth of boxes now already. I just love them. So I hope you've enjoyed this little look inside. If it's something that you're considering, just check out the links below. You can look at all your delivery options, your payment options, and you can dip in and out. You don't have to subscribe to it, you know, for a set amount of time. You can just do it month by month. You just have to remember to cancel if you don't want to do the following month because they kind of roll over, but you can cancel at any time. But yeah, check all that out. There's loads of information there and I'll be back again very soon with another tutorial. Thanks for watching, bye.